Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith. I'm with the University of Ottawa Laboratory for Paleoclimatology. In this uh, video, I'm going to continue my discussion on basically on the heat waves that we're getting around the planet. In the, in the near future, how, how hot can it actually be? And it turns out that the temperature and humidity conditions are going to be such that, that basically large parts of the planet will just be uninhabitable. You won't be able to work outside um, and uh, survive. It's just, it's just too hot. The body will not be able to, the human body will not be able to get rid of heat. The core temperature will rise, leading to heat exhaustion, heat stroke, and death. Um, in the shade, in a well-ventilated area, within six hours with the wet bulb temperature of 35 degrees. So that's a 35 degree temperature and 100% humidity. And there's a, there's a chart and you can scale that to if the humidity is 90%, the, the body can tolerate slightly higher temperature. If the humidity is 70%, higher, etc. But 100% humidity and 35 degrees Celsius, that wet bulb temperature is, is your, uh, does not allow your body to dissipate and get rid of heat. So what I'm doing here is I'm sh in this particular image of uh, showing China and various cities in China, what it's doing is showing under different scenarios. So this is where we are. This is, um, th so this is uh, basically historical is the black line. This is the RCP 4.5 scenario and this is the Business as usual, where we are right now, RCP 8.5 scenario. And this is the time, so, so this drops to basically zero, this reaches a maximum of 34 degrees, this reaches 36 degrees, 34, and so on, okay? And of course, the frequency of occurrence of these very hot temperatures is lower, so the curve drops off, but anytime it goes over 35, the healthiest person would last about six hours outside before they die. Okay, uh, so look at this uh, sort of thing here. So of course, most people would not be able to withstand that. Uh, they wouldn't last for the six hours or, uh, you know, lower temperatures like, a, you know, 31, 32, 33, 34 degrees Celsius and, and really high humidity and, and that'll finish them off. So it, the very healthiest you know, the physiological nature of the human body is not able to withstand, um, you know, the healthiest person is not able to withstand a, a 35 degree, 100% humidity situation for, in the shade, well ventilated for more than six hours. Okay, so basically under these scenarios, under climate change, there's going to be large parts of the planet that will be not suitable for, for humans to live outside. And this is a very, very uh, sobering and uh, scary situation. So this is showing historical. Here we are in China, and there's vast areas of India that are in a similar situation, and also areas in the Middle East near the Persian Gulf. So this is under the, this is historically the temperatures that are reached, the wet bulb temperature. So you can see 28 to 29 degrees here, basically. This is 27 to 28. You know, in the brownish areas, the yellow 28 to 29, and there's some oranges here that are popping in here and some slightly red. So this is what we've seen historically in the RCP 4.5, which is a little lower emission scenario. Um, by 2070 to 2100 time frame, this is regions here. You can see this region here where the wet bulb is higher. Um, and this is the RCP 8.5 scenario. This is the business as usual scenario. And what you can see is significant problems here in China, especially in the North Plains. You can see significant problems here in India and also areas of, of, around the Persian Gulf where these areas will become the first area parts of the planet that are basically uninhabitable in the near future due to um, this uh, due to climate change and the, it's a combination of humidity and temperature that will make these areas uninhabitable 
Okay, so uh, this is another um, article. Um, and this one is talking about the oil heartlands of Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Doha, and Iran's coast. Okay, um, and uh, the paper is here, it's by the same people. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, temperature. Uh, what is noted is that when the temperature approaches these extremes, machinery designed for the current climate may malfunction. Aircraft may not operate properly during takeoff. The air is too thin. So taking off and landing, problem. They'll have to have lower uh, numbers of passengers, lower load. Rail lines can buckle at temperatures, extreme temperatures, even at temperatures around 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, so, so this is the um, areas around in the Middle East. Okay, so this is the wet bulb maximum temperature. This is the scale here. And what you can see is already, you can see some areas here that are, um, well, when you get to here, these purples, I mean, these, these are ridiculous temperatures here that, that are reached, ridiculously high temperatures. Um, this is the uh, max, this is the temperatures, and this is the wet bulb temperatures. Okay, so the wet bulb temperatures are, so this is uh, 30, low 30s here, okay, and there's some purples and things over the water, etc. But this is under the historical, the RCP 4.5 scenario and the RCP 8.5 scenario. So this is taking into account humidity. This is the wet bulb temperatures. And this is the, just the, temp, the outright temperatures. So just looking at the outright temperatures does not give the whole picture because it's, it's how the effect on the human body depends on both this temperature and the humidity which is incorporated in this particular plot. So areas around the, the, okay, it's so hot here, there's lots of evaporation from the water and that adds to the humidity. So if you live around the coastline here, okay, then, then you're most susceptible to having these um, uninhabitable conditions, um, un, uh, you know, wet bulb over 35. Okay, um, this is uh, some of the different regions in here, some of the different um, cities. Okay, so the time series from 1980, you know, going out. And what it's showing is this red line here is the, is the uh, 35 degree limit. Okay, and what we see is uh, Duran, like we're exceeding it in some cases. So here we can exceed it. Um, and over here in Dubai, we're exceeding it. Bandar Abbas, Iran, exceeding it, reaching it here. Okay, so there's very Doha, Qatar. So there's various cities, Abu Dhabi. There's there's quite a few cities here, around the uh, around the Gulf here, um, that uh, will exceed these wet bulb temperatures and basically lead to uh, a situation where it's, it's not it's not possible for people to work outside in these regions. You have to be inside in air conditioning to survive. And then this is an article that is talking about South Asia. Okay, climate change to cause human heat waves that will kill even healthy people. And this is the same sort, similar sort of study by the same people uh, talking about area, this hot spot, the Ganges and Indus valleys. So, so Let's have a look here. Deadly heat waves projected in the densely populated agricultural regions of South Asia. It's all in agricultural regions where, where there's huge amounts of human labor that goes into, into harvesting the crops. Um, so again, it talks about the wet bulb being 35, the upper limit for human survivability, um, and how we will reach these with future heat waves. So, Here's the, again, here's the region, um, here's the regions that are most at risk, China, India, and the Middle East here, and, uh, okay, so the wet bulb temperatures, so here we are in this case here, similar portrayal of data, and uh, this is showing the different regions, 
Um, again, the, this is a histogram, so the 35 degrees is what we're watching for. So uh, we're reaching it here, and uh, we're getting, um, okay, so we're reaching mostly the 32s, 33s, uh, that sort of thing. So we're approaching it, okay? So the healthiest people could survive this sort of thing, uh, but the elderly, the young, anybody with medical conditions would be in severe stress and at great risk of, of uh, death. So over here, this was some, one of the highest regions right here okay uh reaching uh 36 degrees well over the uh you know over that critical 35 degree wet bulb temperature for for parts of the year okay um this is a map showing you know the historical um under the 4.5 rcp 4.5 scenario and under the 8.5 so you know look at this whole reddish area here you know, we're um, in this sort of range, very, very risky, very, very dangerous range. Okay, so we haven't, so, so what have we reached so far? Okay, we got close to breaking these, uh, to reaching this wet bulb temperature in the Middle East. The temperatures were topping 50 degrees Celsius near the Gulf um, with the, all the humidity there was, uh, we got very, very close, uh, 49 degrees in Baghdad, you know, temperatures around the country in Iraq, 48 to 51 degrees Celsius. Um, and uh, it felt like 73. Temperature was 46, but with the humidity, it felt like 73, population of 150,000. Um, traffic cones melting, you know, right up here. Okay, uh, temperature was 43, dew point temperature was 32 Celsius. Apparent temperature, 68 Celsius. So basically the dew point temperature, the wet bulb temperature was 32 Celsius. Getting very, very close to that 35, which would kill even healthy people who were outside within six hours. Okay, so with these heat waves, um, that there, you know, as climate change gets worse and worse, as the jet streams slow down and become fractured and wavy, and we get these basic heat domes over the land, we're getting, we're, we're approaching these areas of, uh, uh, you know, that, that basically where humans can't exist, the body is not able to dissipate heat. So this is uh, showing you, now, th now uh, 35 degrees Celsius, Multiply by nine fifths and add thirty two. That's um, multiply by nine fifths. That's sixty three. Add thirty two. That's ninety five. So ninety five degrees is thirty five degrees Celsius. And uh, you can see here, you know, nobody can survive uh, outside. For, you last about six hours outside in this condition. You're in this red part. Extreme danger. So. Depending, you know, so for the, if you know the temperature and the humidity, you can figure out where you are on, on that chart and you can assess the danger of um, heat exhaustion and heat stroke, etc. Um, you know, practice heat safety, okay? Uh, you need to stay hydrated. Take breaks in the shade as often as possible. Indoors, apartments, and places without air conditioning, you need to check on the the elderly, the sick, those without air conditioning, those that aren't mobile, vehicles, never leave anything, kids, pets, anybody in the car, lock in a locked car, and outdoors, of limit strenuous outdoor activities, find shade, stay hydrated, uh, cold baths, cold showers, very important, or uh, if you just go into a washroom, fill the sink with cold water, immerse your arm your immerse your hands up to your up to your elbows in the water there's a lot of blood vessels in your arm and that will cool the blood in your body that will will cool your your system okay so it's very important to exercise these sort of uh safety techniques and uh 
you know, thank you for listening to my videos. Check out my website, paulbeckwith.net. Thank you.